This is Mark Newsom, Mr. Marketing. Welcome to this special presentation entitled How to Get Your Best Potential Customers and Clients to Know, Like, and Trust You, enough to eventually buy from you over and over again. Introducing five critically important elements for building rock solid trust online. Ladies and gentlemen, you violate or overlook any of these five crucial elements, and you're going to lose money. So here's the thing, ladies and gentlemen, you're about to discover five critically important reasons why your typical online visitor, especially a first time online visitor, simply won't ever buy anything from you. And unless you take these five corrective actions immediately, you're going to continue to starve online and miss out. So let's take a look at what you need to do right now to build rock solid trust and credibility online. Entrepreneur, imagine this. You're, you're shopping in a neighborhood Target. It's a nice, beautiful, sunny day. And as you're headed to the checkout counter, the doors burst open. Two rather large gentlemen. They look like they could be pro wrestlers. They walk in, they got hoodies on. They actually have masks covering their face and they have gloves. Now let's be honest. How safe would you feel in a situation like that? And what if it turns out they were actually from a publisher's clearinghouse and they were actually looking for you to give you this multi-million dollar uh, prize that you'd won? Fact of the matter is you wouldn't care what they were offering, right? You don't know these people. Look how they're dressed. You want no parts of it. Bingo. Entrepreneur online, the first time a visitor lands at your site and you're bum rushing them trying to sell them something. That's the equivalent of meeting somebody at a social event and within 15 minutes proposing marriage. It's completely ridiculous. And yet you see online marketers doing this constantly. People have got to get to know you first online, especially online, before they're going to even think about buying anything from you. Okay? Now, here's what you can do to ingratiate yourself to your online visitors. You can start out by incentivizing and giving them a reason to join your list by offering them some sort of free problem solving information because remember 90% of the time people go online initially looking for information. That's the first itch they're trying to scratch not to buy something. Now they do go online specifically looking to buy things but that's after they've done a lot of initial research. So you want to be smart and what you want to do is attempt to build your opt-in list by exchanging the information that they're looking for in exchange for their email address. Now here's the next thing. Ladies and gentlemen, don't hide or make it practically impossible for your visitors to find your all-important contact information, especially if you're a local business and you're, you have a website. If people need to call your place of business, put your phone number, if nothing else, in the header. Make sure you have in the tab somewhere a contact tab that they can click on. And if nothing else, if you don't have your phone number there, they can email you. You, you wouldn't believe the number of times in these forums you hear uh, consumers complaining they couldn't find a phone number. There was no way to contact these people. They were interested in getting pricing or specific information about a product or a service or just to tell you, hey, this link doesn't work anymore, whatever. And they found it practically impossible to contact the place of business. Now, as you're listening to that, you probably think that's hard to believe, but you'd be shocked and amazed how many times that complaint comes up. Now, here's the other thing. Ladies and gentlemen, think of your email follow-up process like dating. This is where you get a chance to build your case. And remember, 
when people see advertising on television or in a newspaper or on a radio, that's not targeted. In other words, they do demographics and all of that, but email, most people don't read email in a group setting, right? You e email by yourself privately, which means when somebody opts into your list, you have a tremendous opportunity to first educate them, inform them. And what I mean by inform is let's just suppose you're having a closeout sale, some stuff you're getting rid of for good. This is the perfect reason for a small business owner to have an email list you can email specifically your best VIP customers and clients and finally obviously you can send your links and affiliate links to them via email and you have a, a very good chance of making sales in fact a good rule of thumb for email is ladies and gentlemen and your free special reports your audios your videos whatever type of medium you're going to use to educate your customers make them about 85 percent education and informing and about 15 percent selling that seems to be the sweet spot and the and the perfect percentage for you to to it could be higher but you don't want to have it like 40 percent information and the other 60 percent sales that turns people off that's not why they're joining your list to get thinly disguised sales pitches here's the next thing Ladies and gentlemen, a whole lot of information can be gathered by studying both your and your major competitors, what's called FAQ, Frequently Asked Question Pages. Because think about it, when somebody asks a question over and over and over and over and over, they're letting you know they got a specific itch that they want scratched. It's just like when you study keyword research for your particular niche those people are going to Google or Bing or Yahoo and they're typing in specific terms meaning they want specific information about this so you don't have to be psychic but you need to be in uh, touch with whatever it is that uh, they're having a problem with that way you can better service them and the better you're able to service them through your marketing the less money you'll need to spend up front in other words when people just buy a zip code full of uh, uh, mailing addresses and mail out how do you know everybody in that zip code has an interest in what it is you're trying to market but people who type in specific terms into a uh, search engine they're telling you and you can look at the number of people that are doing it and that tells you if there's enough demand for you to go after those specific keywords so your fact pages and if you don't have a fact page study your competitors especially the men and women who are ahead of you in the marketplace because what they're signaling you signaling to you is these specific issues need to be addressed this is very powerful and number five whenever possible offer some type of social proof do you have a hundred and fifty thousand two hundred and thirteen people following you on Twitter let people know about it. have you found a specific way to increase productivity by 22.9 percent and that's 35 percent ahead of the uh, national average or the industry average let people know about it you might also use social proof or establish it by way of written audio or video testimonial of some kind take a look at this headline see what this does for you how I built a highly targeted opt-in list of 6,719 subscribers in just under six months using totally free software and only writing three articles. Completely true. But I got a question for you. Is that headline you're reading as credible as that graphic of the exact same thing? see the number there 6719 and those of you who recognize that video which is on my uh, YouTube channel right now that's me logging in and showing you that particular account where at the time of that uh, video was done that was the actual number of su subscribers that I built using a free autoresponder and only writing three articles so the point is entrepreneur what you want to do online is a, you want to let people get a chance to know you. You want to begin to establish credibility. 
And any time you can offer social proof for what you're doing, do it. Don't just tell. Show. It's very powerful. So on that note, for those of you who want to discover how you can add an additional 25% to your bottom line in the next 90 days or less, and you want to know how you can do so without having to add any new customers or clients, then entrepreneur, what you need to do is grab that free nine-page special report. And the place you can get it is www.youcanmarketonlinenow.com forward slash sales. This is Mark Newsom, Mr. Marketing. Looking forward to being with you next time on the Marketing Minute. Thank you.